All right, so it's probably best to go through the engine in a little bit more detail. This is obviously the engine room and this is our engine. We've had sort of touch and go success with this engine pretty much from day one. She hadn't been run in about two years, possibly more. Before we bought her, uh, the agent that start the engine ran for like two minutes and then turned it off because he didn't want to risk anything going wrong. I kind of wish he had because I started it two years later um, and about five minutes later it backed up. Um, we don't know what the problem was at the time. Uh, we got it going again. It was some electrical issues. The alternator is toast, doesn't work, never has. Um, fine, those are all replaceable things. Uh, what did irk me was when we did finally get her going, she ran for about 30 minutes and then she started sounding very, very, very strange. Um, we turned it off, I checked the oil, and probably the worst nightmare you can have in an old engine like this is water in your oil. Um, I had a good look to see what was going on and I noticed the header tank had completely emptied itself and that was now all neatly mixed. So that's probably head gasket. So for those of you who know engines, that means the head had to come off. Uh, so we stripped the engine. Uh, we can clearly see that the engine wasn't in the best condition. Although I didn't want to completely remove the engine and recondition her, it was out of my budget and we hadn't planned for it. All right, so what then? Well, the head went in. Uh, we had a look at the header tank. Everything white is stuff that I've redone myself. Um, everything green is the original engine. We had the head done, uh, put everything back on, got her going, and she ran okay for about an hour. And she started making a weird noise, and we had another look at her. I had to look at the oil having freshly been cleaned out and scrubbed. And lo and behold, milky white oil again, water in the oil, only this time with a slightly different smell. So I opened up the header tank and she was full, which means the only other place uh, where water and oil mix on this engine is right over here. And this is the oil cooler and the raw water, in this case salt water, goes from the pump, from the the side of the engine um, through the sea strainer into another cooler which we'll talk about shortly something I discovered yesterday right around to the pump through the header tank into the oil cooler down through here the rest of it goes through the heat exchange exhaust and out the boat um, this is the only other place really where water and oil mix and here is the old one and it doesn't take genius uh, to look closer to see the condition of it now she wasn't blocked in any way so there was three flow uh, but she was leaking so there are lots of these little copper pipes and they've clearly been leaking for a very very long time so Marnus, a friend who has a boat here, has a small engineering shop and he manufactured this one for me and I'll try and include uh, some pictures and video as we go along. And this has been working great. So you've seen the video of the engine starting. Uh, it took a while for the water to sort of start coming out. This is the exhaust system. It's, it's massive. There are many, many liters, um, but I had flushed all of this out over the last couple of months. So I was starting to get worried that there was something wrong with the impeller. But no, eventually it did start coming out. It just took a really long time to fill out this pipe. Um, it then goes into the pilot cabin next to us here and then eventually out the side of the boat. Um, but it, it's, it was quite empty because I emptied it all. So that took a long time to do. Uh, this is just a small charger that I keep here to keep the battery topped up because the alternator doesn't work. Now, the gearbox. So this is a Berg Warner gearbox. I don't know what the ratio is on this gearbox. 
it makes an awful noise when you engage it, like a grinding uh, noise, but it does work, um, and, it, and it engages very easily. Um, yesterday I decided to inspect this noise, uh, it's always done that. And I decided for the first time since I've owned this boat, because we've never really had the engine running long enough where I bothered to look at the gearbox. So, uh, milky white mixed oil in the gearbox. Now that's not because of this. At no point does the engine uh, mix with the gearbox. Um, there is a, another oil cooler just over there. And let me move the camera down. All right, so those of you familiar with gearboxes, this is the gearbox. This is our raw water in, and this is a cooler that cools the gearbox oil. This thing has clearly failed, and now I have to deal with that as well. So probably what I'm going to do for the short term is to bypass all of this so I can keep the engine running. And I've already flushed everything out. Um, I made sure not to allow that oil to sit there any longer, and I don't know how long it's been there. So that's all gone, and now I have to move on to this project. I'm hoping it's something small like a seal and not that I need to go get a whole new cooler.